Hello and welcome back to Growler Model Painting. Uh, this video is a quick tutorial on how to set up your airbrush and how it works. Uh, it's just a general overview of um, if you're starting out with an airbrush, if you're a beginner and you're not sure what you're doing, this is just a tutorial on how to set it up and how they work in general. Okay, so here we've got um, the standard kind of airbrush. Uh, I'll just go over some of the parts uh, that you'll need to know. It's a gravity feed airbrush, we know because the paint, uh, where the paint is stored here, um, it's fed down by gravity. The other types you can get are suction uh, airbrushes where there's a little container here and it sucks it up. But these are the most common, uh, most people have gravity feeds. Um, so parts here on the end will have the needle cap. Uh, this just protects the needle from getting bent. Um, and just below this here, which can't screw off, is the airhead. So we can just go ahead and screw this off. Now the airhead is the part that just goes over the edge of the needle and also houses the nozzle or sometimes called the needle tip. Um, now when we're taking the airbrush apart it's important to take these parts off first and then we can go around to the back and we can actually unscrew the needle out. So you just remove this and carefully remove the needle and that is the part of the airbrush that are most important especially when it comes to cleaning. Okay so the way in which airbrushes work and uh, the way this one works is the air is fed up through here and it's fed out through the nozzle or the needle tip and um, so basically when we push this lever down here this is dual action airbrush so we can control how much air and how much paint comes out at the same time. Um, cheap airbrushes just control how much air and then the paint will just spray out but this you can control both. Um, so the air will come up through here, we're going to release the air by pushing this down and then as we pull this back the needle itself moves back and you can release how much paint, uh, control how much paint is released from the nozzle by moving the needle backwards like that. So that is basically how the airbrush works and the paint is fed down through here. So this is a compressor, uh, this section here, and this is a 2 litre tank. Um, so the way this works is most people just have the compressor um, and this compresses the air and feeds it through the airbrush. But this one um, is a little bit better because it will compress the air which is stored in this tank and you can control how much air is stored by um, changing the pressure and um, so it's silent when you use the actual airbrush because all the air will be being taken out of this tank rather than it being compressed and then blown straight out it's stored in here so you can actually just compress the air and it will automatically stop compressing it once the tank's full so uh, a little bit more money but it's definitely worth the extra money um, so to connect this to the airbrush you just use a tube like this and you should have an adapter which will actually connect it to the airbrush and um, it will also stop the airflow once you remove the airbrush from the wire. So you just go ahead and attach this tube to the end here and this is where you can actually control the pressure using this. Um, you should be looking at having a round two bar um, which is a nice pressure for using an airbrush. You can lower the pressure if you want um, a smaller, you want to do more uh, fine detail, you can actually reduce the pressure um, and do it like that. But two bar is a nice pressure to use and your adapter will go on this end of the tube and connect into your airbrush. Okay, so let's look how we clean an airbrush. Now, this isn't for between switching your paints. This is for more when you feel like the airbrush needs a clean or when you finish painting, uh, you've been painting for a session and you just feel like you need to clean the airbrush up just before you pull it away. So we're going to look at how to do that. So first, you'll probably want to remove the paint cup uh, just so you can give that a really thorough clean. And you're going to remove the, um, the head here and remove the needle cap out. This should all be, uh, will have paint on it, which will need cleaning. Um, and then you can go ahead, same as before, and remove the needle from the airbrush. Gotta be very careful not to bend the needle when you remove it. 
and you can go ahead and use um, some people use Windex and um, you can use alcohol or you can just use water and you should uh, really thoroughly clean these pieces out and um, especially the needle and especially the nozzle here and once this is all clean it should fit straight back together and it'll be ready for uh, painting again okay so when cleaning you can use any anything like I said you can use water or you can use alcohol or Windex anything that you want to use um, for the needle, just use a, a bit of your chosen liquid on a kitchen roll and just really gently bring it over the needle, being careful not to do any damage to it, and that should clean it right up. Um, as for the other parts, when we're cleaning this here, the nozzle, we can go ahead and use a cotton bud. So this is really good for getting right in there and especially in the in the back section here that will need a good clean so you can use a cotton bud to do that and for this section here the needle tip we can use a fine brush get some of our chosen liquid and just put it in there and just give it a wipe around and you can actually blow out there and it'll um, clear it out so just really get a really nice clean in there with your chosen uh, solvent and it's ready to put back together Okay, so this has been a really brief summary on how to set your airbrush up for beginners, what the different parts are called, how it works, and um, a brief look at how to maintain it and clean it. So the next video we'll be looking at is how to thin your paints, um, using all the different brands of paint like Vallejo, and uh, the Citadel ones, and um, we'll look at some army painter as well, and um, how to actually use the paints with the airbrush, um, and when you how to change colours as well. So a quick clean before changing colour, uh, that'll be in the next video, um, so subscribe, uh, please like the video, it really helps you a lot, and um, thanks for watching.